Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another video and on this video I am going to show you four runs taking on the Sawmill Ward. The first of these runs is called Up Close and Personal and it's named so because I'm going to take out this entire horde with an auto shotgun. Uh, I will also keep the commentary to a minimum on this folks because once it gets going you'll be struggling to hear me. So let's go.
Okay, folks, just about done now. Not many of them left. And that's it, job done. Right, folks, my second run is a no shots fired run. And this particular type of run has been made very famous by a very well known YouTuber that goes by the name of Sponicus Rex. Now, Sponicus Rex has to be said, he is a proper tactician. He will lay out a lot of traps and uh, really is very um, precise with what he does. I am not. <laughs> um, I'll be quite honest, folks, I'm just bloody too impatient. I really just want to get on with it. So um, there is a bit of thought into it. I do have a particular run in mind, but uh, there's nothing that's going to be placed before I start this one. As you can see, it's just going to be a case of act and react. Right, okay, we'll get a tractor over there and let's get the pipe bombs ready. That's great, they're coming out in larger numbers now. In fact, this is the majority of them, so let's just go to town here. Another one there, and then I'm really looking to congregate them all in this area that I'm about to land on before climbing. Because as I always hear, I try and make full use of the environment. Climbing up on buildings and whatnot gives you time. Now I'm just going to try and bunch them all together, and I'm going to let loose with some of these absolutely freaking lethal proximity bombs. These will basically take out 20 freakers every single time. Quite a large blast radius, so you've got to make sure that you're diving away every time. And again, up here next. Give the whole time to catch up. <laughs> okay, move on. A little bit tricky here, but yeah, no problem. That's, uh, that's going quite well. I'm going to hit them again here because that's the area they're all going to be dropping on. Our proximity bomb's going to be coming their way. Especially as they're all going to be bunched up here. Nice, okay. Now I'm heading for one of my favourite spots. Just takes a little bit of time to climb this, but once you climb up here, you have a lot of time. And you can just rain hell down upon them from here. Might as well start over at the far, far way there. Molotovs here. Nathan Molotovs, I should say. This should take care of a good proportion of them. Okay, grenades. Mm, okay, that wasn't very clever there. <laughs> Not one of my better moves, however. Just going to try and bunch them again, using a tractor, and then I'm going to be throwing a grenade on top of this just for good measure. This should take care of most of them, if not all of them. Ha! <laughs> Fantastic. Job done. Okay, folks, the third run is called Anything Goes, and it is named so because I will be using whatever I feel is necessary to complete the job here. So, as you can imagine, this is going to be a mixture of gunplay, explosives, and proximity bombs. So, let's get to it. I'm armed to the teeth here, and I've got three very good weapons, namely Chicago Chopper, an MG55, and an SMP9. Shouldn't be too long with these. So, just something to get them started. Come out with that. Okay, next area here, I'm going to lay in a tractor and use it as a choke point for them. This will slow them up and it will set them up nicely for a Napalm Molotov. That two of them because they're uh, congregating over there nicely. It's okay, another tractor down here if you want. Just try to get them bunched. Ok, 
Okay, back to the proximity bombs. Again, just to thin out the numbers a wee bit. Oh, that wasn't clever. Took a couple of hits for that, but never mind. No damage done. Again, another attractor here, and again, looking to hit him with a the power molotov. Did the last time there, I headed over to the far side. I'm basically going to try and operate within this uh, this one area, especially as I'm not going to be long in being taken care of from here. Just going to finish them off now with gunplay. At this stage, no explosives required. There we go. Job done. Right folks, the last run, um, as normally I only show three runs when I'm uh, uh, showing these uh, mission based hordes, but the fourth run is specifically designed for anyone who is struggling to deal with this horde. Now, if you are a person who has tried relentlessly and just cannot defeat this horde, take my word for it, this is the easiest way to take care of them. I'm going to start by just uh, attracting them all out. Uh, I will use a little bit of gunplay, but really it's just to get them follow all following me. And from there, I will uh, lead them to the location. And then from there, I'm just going to rain down... Uh, Napalm Molotovs on them. It's that easy. Yeah, at this point, I'm not bothered how many of them are killed because really, once I reach this location, I'll be able to take out the, the whole of the horde very, very easily. So that's it. They're all uh, amassing nicely. So No real reason now to engage too much. Just need them all to follow me. Yeah, now, this location I'm going to focus, it's not a new location by any means. It's, uh, a lot of people have known about this location for a long, long time. Um, I actually showed this particular location in a video last year. Might have even been the year before that, actually. <laughs> um, but, just given what this video is all about, I thought it would be very handy to show it again for anyone who maybe doesn't know about it and this is the area once you're here you are untouchable um, you can use anything you like but the napalm molotovs are by far the best weapon to be using here as they take up between 50 to 60 freakers every time uh, a word of caution if you are going to be using grenades charge them first because if you don't, if you throw a grenade down there, chances are you'll get blown off the ledge that you're, that you're currently on. But this is as easy as it gets boost. Yeah, when you're up here, folks, just keep using survival vision. That'll give you a good idea of uh, roughly how many are uh, still to kill. And just make sure every time that you're throwing down uh, an Apan Molotov, give it time to kill the creepers that are down there before throwing another. Be very lucky if I need any more than uh, four more Molotovs here. Yep, 
that's it. I'm just about done now, folks. I would say this uh, this next uh, Nepal Molotov will probably do the job. No? <laughs> okay, this one definitely will. You're lucky if there's 20 flickers left there, man. And there we go. Job done. Well, folks, I've thoroughly enjoyed making this video, showing the four different runs. I hope these all help you, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.